Another day, another confusing conceptual questions for you. Let's read the question. A metal cylinder is suspended vertically in equilibrium. Mm, interesting. So in equilibrium here means your net force is zero. Okay. Some of the total forces is zero. A diagram shows the cylinder in four different positions. P, Q, R, S. Oh, this is spicy. Which statement explains the variation of tension in the court? Mm. Okay. So whenever you see this kind of thing, you got to get ready your brain. Ah. What is the main idea? It is always due to pressure difference. Because they are going to they say explain the variation. Okay. So... If I see pressure difference, or oh, this is my answer already. Oh, I miss like that also can. Ah. You're not confused. Okay. But if let's say you want to examine each of them and correct the statements, we can do it. All right. So let's look at P and Q first. The pressure at P, at P and Q, the tension in the cord is the same because the difference in pressure between the top and the bottom of the cylinder is the same. So let's say... This part here is P1. So this part here is P2. P1 and P2, the change in pressure, which is P2 minus P1. You will take H2 rho G minus H1 rho G. So it's still H2 minus H1 rho G. My dudes, this H2 minus H1 is the change in height because H2, I mean H1 is here. And if you remember the derivation, H2 is here. So H1 minus H2 is this one, delta H. And the delta H is the same here because it's the same cylinder. So this is why the difference in pressure between both top and bottom is the same. And because difference in pressure is also equal to force times area, because pressure is, no, 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 pressure is force over area. So it's this difference in pressure that causes the up thrust. All right. Or you could always use Archimedes. I will provide an alternative statement. But Archimedes is not the explanation. Archimedes just gives you the equation. The weight of the water displaced for P and Q is the same. P and Q displace the same amount of water. Okay. So Archimedes principle is not the reason why yeah when they say explain all why do you, is pressure difference how does archimedes come into play well we'll put his name here because our friend archie managed to come up with an equation to calculate your up thrust or your buoyancy. Weight of water displays. Weight of water. Or V rho G. So the volume is displaced. Volume for P is the same as volume of Q. Alright. But you can see none of this statement talks about volume displaced. Look at B. At Q, the tension is less than P. Cannot. Uh. The tension at P and Q is equal. These two tension is equal. Because the up thrust is equal. If you need a bit more help, you can always draw the tension pointing upwards. Okay. And you have the weight of the cylinder pointing downwards and you have your up thrust pointing upwards. So I will say up thrust plus T is equal to mg. If up thrust in if up thrust is constant, mg is constant, T must be constant. So B is definitely out. Okay? The absolute pressure is bigger. P1 here will be bigger than P1 here. But we don't care about the absolute pressure. We care about the difference. All right? Okay, moving on.
at R, the tension is less than P because the atmospheric pressure is less than water pressure. Uh, um, no. 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 <laughs> How do you know that the atmospheric pressure is less than water pressure? Mm? You don't know. And then at R, the tension is bigger. Let's say this is Tp, this is Tq. The tension at R is less than Tp and less than Tq. And not less, greater than, sorry. Because it needs to support more weight. At R, the upthrust actually decreases. Why? Because you see, oh, only this much delta H change in height. Only this much water displaced. So upthrust will drop, causing tension to increase. So not only I don't understand how they know that the atmospheric pressure is less than, highly likely it's not. This is also really greater than P. Because the atmospheric pressure here, let me draw for you, the atmospheric pressure here, the difference between atmospheric pressure and water pressure is less. Okay, so if you really want to write an uh, explanation, you will say there is less pressure difference between atmospheric pressure at water surface and pressure of your water at the bottom of cylinder R. Cylinder, yeah, as cylinder R. So the pressure difference here is smaller. Height is smaller. Okay, last one. At S, the tension is greater than P. Mm, well, yes. The tension in S is the biggest of them all because tension in S is straight away equal to mg. Because in this scenario, right, in this case, your upthrust is zero, my dudes. There's no volume. <laughs> we didn't displace any water. So this one got zero upthrust. Okay? So your Ts is equal to mg. And Ts is the greatest of them all. So at S, the tension is the largest. And T is equal to mg. But this is, be this is because the atmospheric pressure at S exert no force. Wow! Atmospheric pressure at S exerts no force on top of bottom of the cylinder. No, 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 no. Uncle Roger will put down his leg. Atmospheric pressure exerts in all directions. Remember, we drew this when we started the buoyancy chapter. So if let's say I have a block in atmospheric pressure and maybe the block is the size of my phone and the density is uh, very negligible. So the height of my phone doesn't really cause much pressure difference. Uh, so the pressure is like that one, acting in all directions now, uh, everywhere. If not, can you imagine how scary it is? If let's say there's no the pressure on top of my head, it's very small, then all my blood will push up to my head. I mean, I have a big brain, but I don't need that big a brain. Okay? So... Exerts no force. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, no, no. I would guess the only comment I'll write here is atmospheric pressure always, unless you're in outer space or in a vacuum, uh, exerts a force in all direction. My dudes. Because atmospheric pressure or gas is still liquid. Okay? Just like here, we are looking at the pressure difference, but don't forget the pressure is actually in all directions. But if you think about the arrows that we had in that objective question, this one, hopefully you've watched, okay? Here, left and right will cancel, so there's no net force. Top and bottom cannot cancel because top got less pressure, so less force. Bottom got more pressure, so got uptrust. Is there uptrust due to atmosphere? due to gas, yes, but very, very small because density of gas is very small. But to say that there is no force at all, which is what that statement is talking about, you see, you see, they say, no force. Physics teacher is going to have an aneurysm here. 
So cannot ah. That atmospheric pressure will always exert a force in all direction. Okay, unless you're talking about something really big like a hot air balloon, then maybe there's a pressure difference. But there's always force. You don't want to have force. Go to vacuum. Go to outer space. Make sure there's no particles colliding against your body. That's it. All right. So that's it for this example. Ready your brain. Just understand that whenever you want to explain up trust, it's always, always pressure difference. And the pressure difference have to be significant. Okay. So in air, it's not that significant because air is very light. But in water, it's significant. The density, just to give you numbers, lah, the density of water is 1000 kg for water, uh, H2O. Mm. It's around 1,000 kg per meter cube. The density for air, depending on where you are, on top of Mount Everest, wherever, is roughly about 1 kg per meter cube. It's very meh one. Not, not that much, okay? So very little. Sometimes it's less, okay? So eh, if it's air, it's only significant if we talk about hot air balloon or parachute. But in most cases, Please, it's always due to pressure difference. It is, uh, if you want to use the weight of the water displaced, you can. In this case, you can see P and Q will have the same volume displaced. But this is not the reason why up trust is there. Archimedes just gives you an equation to help you calculate your, F, your uh, up trust or give you a method to measure and study up trust. Archimedes didn't explain up trust. Okay? Archimedes just gave you an equation. A, a, a lab experiment, the Eureka tin to measure up trust. But the reason why there's up trust is pressure difference. All right? So hopefully that's clear. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Be smarter. You got this.